All right, we are back with episode three of the one of the series reviews. I was not on there. Brent was. We're going to talk about everybody's favorite food. So subject food. Um, if I had to characterize Warrior Quibbins food, I would say they're not as good at breakfast and lunch and dining rooms. Kind of on par with the other, all the other, the other main lines. But let's see what the review says. Um, we are back today with another wonderful wonder of the seas review. That was your line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I bet wrong. that's the only time that's been used. So anyway, so we'll start off with the good. The main dining room actually was shocked. Was the word I would use? Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly shocked at how good. The food in the main dining room was for supper and dinner because like with the new menu changes which has caused uproars on the internet and social media <laughs> to where they've changed the menu to where you have six starters seven main courses and six desserts from every night to choose from and it's a kind of across the fleet the way i understand so they it. don't change or they do they do but i think like they have a welcome aboard night they have a mexican night they have an italian a french Bon Voyage, and then this, so you have, and we'll put the, I've got an image of that, we'll put that up on here, but, uh, and I think it's the same on a lot of the ships, is what I'm saying, the same menu, so, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I think it's the same, but, you know, I guess the idea was to do things that we do well, and not do as many options where we do what we do better, I guess, I don't know, but the food was really good, I mean, probably the best, it's been decades since I've had food this good in the main dining room. I mean, service was what you would expect. It apparently was slower than our uh, parents that took it on the seat. We did anytime dining, so it's sort of a zoo. But you expect that right. to where dress code was another subject you don't talk about. But it was definitely less casual, definitely more chaotic. But, I um, mean, service was fine. I know on the time was interesting. Cause I think our, our parents was on the same ship a couple weeks ago, so they got in there in about 45 minutes to an hour, like like average about an hour. An hour you and said a half you were was worse. the best we did. An hour and a half, most was well, an hour and a half to two. That was interesting that it was. And we hour. eat slow, if you I mean, for sure. Uh, especially my wife, uh, definitely eat slow, and she ate a lot, so it was even slower. But it was just uh, you know we, that maybe that's some of it, but it was just a lot more crowded. Uh, but the food was really good, and that was a shock. Cause I remember years ago, the main dining room food being where they, you felt like they were pushing toward the main. Yeah, it went downhill the last time I had around work. So maybe simplifying was a good thing. Uh, you know, I, the fish was good. I had two fish dishes that weren't fishy, which is typical, tough to pull off on a cruise. Um, the, you do see some repetitiveness in the appetizers. I mean, like French onion soup was available like four nights on the week. And you'd right. see shrimp cocktails. So some of your classics they took away, they mixed in with the regular. Yeah, because they don't they, do the everyday like classic mm -mm, menu. Those that are was, gone. That was one of the big controversies. But they do put stuff like escargot and shrimp cocktail in the Mexican menus, which is not Mexican themed right. food. So, but you know, so they do keep it around. Uh, the best thing we ate all week was first formal night was the beef tenderloin, which was one of the better dishes I've ever had on a cruise ship for dinner. I mean, it was just lick the plate good. I don't don't was sort of shocked. We both yeah. ate every piece of meat, very tender. Like the gravy as well, I'd call it was good. So it was good. Uh, the worst choice of the menu was the, the Mexican night, which we'll put that image up. We'll put that up on there. Which I, we actually went to Playmakers that night, which was the worst food I had all week, probably from dinner, which we paid for. And anyway, so the, the chicken tenders were chewy, and you had to like pull them. Bread is just. Terrible in the dining room. I mean, it, to the point where it just needs to be taken out. R.I.P. Savory Bites. Savory Bites no mm -hmm. more. They had three types of bread. Two of them were the same every night. And the one that wasn't, they put different seeds on the top the other night. So, But, I mean, it was like you would put it in your mouth and you would just pull it and try to put it into it. It was just, it's very wasteful because nobody can eat it. People, right. And it's just, it ought to just be cut out and make better bread or something. I mean, which is probably coming. But uh, that was the, the big downfall. But service was good. Uh, you know, the, the, you had your... Tiger shrimp, your lobster on your second formal night, which no one dressed up for. Which I've, the last two crews I've been on, the second formal night basically was non existent. Yeah, uh, and so that, the first that's a sad thing being, for us. I, yeah. I, I think that's yeah. negative. But. Uh, they did have their warm chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream, which, if you're a carnival person, you know that is a warm chocolate what melting the, cake. What was the comparison? It was probably the best dessert I had all week. Now, I mean, did they have it just one night? Just one night. 
And it was the night they had like four other desserts. They had three desserts you could have ate. Don't so you hate that? I do hate that because they did that to me with cheesecake and key lime pie and, and several things that were good. Uh, the cheesecake, royal cheesecake, only had it like once. And then they had the, the last night was dark chocolate brownies, which was really good with ice cream, kind of the standard stuff. Uh, the, and another surprise, last night we were sort of, the menu sort of rough on the Bon Voyage, not Bon Voyage, the... Uh, uh, when they, the last night of the cruise, it was kind of weak, but we went anyway. So we wound up getting the grilled Mediterranean steak, which was absolutely delicious. I mean, very tender, very thin New York strip like cut. It was good. I mean, we couldn't, but we both ate every bit of it and could not believe it was that good. But usually, steak is usually is kind of chewy. chewy on cruise ship. And lobster is usually chewy. But yeah. I ordered, I got a royal in the system, sort of, without paying. I ordered you my... You didn't need to resole your, your shoes, really? No, didn't have to resole the shoes. It was good. But the lobster was very tender. My waiter cut it out. Uh, I ordered my son a lobster for his dinner, who's four. Luckily, he didn't eat it. Uh, uh, I, I, managed, I managed to eat it, so we didn't. I got two lobsters, didn't have to pay for. So there's your hint. There's your thing. Um, question. What, how were the... Because you did any time dining. How were the friendliness of the... Um, of the waiters they were very friendly they were very pushy on filling out the survey which i would have had no problem filling it out but then you had to fill the survey out by noon the day you got off the ship i said i'm not even going to be in the airport like literally in the air at yeah. that time so, so they i didn't, didn't do it. i don't like recall for the email to you they did email but you had to fill it out by the and i thought which seemed like a crazy sense they were very they were friendly they were nice i mean we're typically we're not pushy demanding Rude people. I mean, we saw one guy cuss. I saw a guy cuss out <laughs> the uh, someone goes. You know, he said he was the trash was a little full, and he kept he told her a couple times. She said, "Yes, sir, I'll get it. The, the trash is full. So, so, so I'll get it." And, well, I guess I'll just throw this trash in the door and floor. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, we're not that type of people, you know, which is a lot of crazy rude people. Which Probably I not don't care. Which were not how we were raised to treat people like that, you know. But anyway. Uh, now that's the good.